As we continue to remember former Secretary of State Colin Powell, who passed away on Monday due to complications from COVID-19 at the age of four, we're also asking questions about his legacy. What is it? Joining us now to talk more about that is former Connecticut Senator and author of the book, The Centrist Solution. Senator Joe Lieberman is with us here on the program. Senator, good morning. Nice to have you on. Morning to you. Um, Thank you. Good to be with you. Senator Colin Powell, he rose to political prominence under Republican President Ronald Reagan, and then he served with George H.W. Bush, and then ultimately George right. W. Bush. Uh, he was he served under Bill Clinton as well. Uh, there was so much speculation, particularly in 1996, that he might run for president. Um, as you reflect on his life and, and career, what do you think his ultimate legacy is? Well, I think part of his legacy uh, is what a great country America is. Um, in other words, uh, we, we need this now. We're a bit down on ourselves. We've been through a lot. Washington is so uh, divided and often nasty. But he here's a man uh, whose parents immigrated here from Jamaica, born in a uh, poor section of the Bronx, raised there, worked hard, went to City University of New York, a public university, was in ROTC there, and uh, goes into the Army for 35 years. And based on his merit, hard work, rises to the top, comes to the attention of people in the Reagan administration, takes a high position in the National Security Council. And then when President Bush, 41, comes in, he becomes chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. And then, of course, later on under President Bush, 43, Secretary of State. It's a, it's a remarkable story. And what's it characterized by? Patriotism put the country first. This was a, an honorable, good guy. Uh, who, who was very serious because he dealt with the serious stuff. <clears throat> but he also had a tremendous sense of humor. And it was my honor uh, to get to know him. Like all political careers, uh, th there were blemishes uh, mixed in there as well at times. But to your point, uh, so well respected on both sides of the aisle, something that I think right. uh, we don't see a lot of in Washington, D.C. right now. Um, you had quite a career, uh, sir, serving in the U.S. Senate. Um, I remember covering the 2008 election, and there was a time when it looked like Republican Senator John McCain was going to ask you to be his running mate, a Democrat, which would have been almost unprecedented. Um, what's happened to bipartisanship in Washington? Yeah, well, I, let me just say about John McCain. I mean, the, the last time there was a bipartisan ticket in America it was Abraham Lincoln and a Democrat, Andrew Johnson. And uh, they did pretty well. Uh, they got elected in 1860, and the rest uh, is the history of the Republican Party. Right. But uh, a lot of things have, have pulled people together in our time. I'm sorry, to pull them apart in our time in Washington. Uh, part of it is the money in politics. Uh, part of it is the gerrymandering of the districts, all the stuff we know about. Part of it is that the media has become much more partisan than it used to be. But, but look, people are sent to Washington, and sometimes I think my friends in Congress forget that, to get something done for the people. And you can only do that, as I say in my book, The Central Solution, by coming to the center. That doesn't mean everybody should be a moderate. It means left, right, Democrat, Republican, independent. Got to come to the center, negotiate with each other, compromise, <clears throat> and get something done. That's the way it's Absolutely. been done in history yeah. since the Constitutional Convention and right down to the episodes that I described in the book. It can be done again if people wanted to. Absolutely. Um, Senator Lieberman, I hope you'll come back and see us here on Wake Up America. Pleasure speaking with you. Thank you. Glad to. Have a good day and a good weekend. You too. Thank you. Uh, Colin Powell's funeral, by the way, will happen at the Washington National Cathedral on Friday, November 5th. Invite only. We'll learn more about that and tell you more about that as it gets closer. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.